Former governor of South Dakota and former UN ambassador Nikki Haley appeared on Fox News and made pretty clear that she is planning on running for president in the Republican Party in 2024. Now, of course, as do all of these individuals up until right before they announced, she did the whole, I'm not making an announcement type thing, but it was pretty clear. Um, take a look. Uh, we are in the new year. How are those tea leaves looking? Are you going to run for president? Well, I'm not going to make an announcement here, but when you're looking at a run for president, you look at two things. You first look at, does the current situation push for new leadership? The second question is, am I that person that could be that new leader? That yes, we need to go in a new direction. And can I be that leader? Yes, I think I can be that leader. I was as governor, I took on a hurting state with double digit unemployment and we made it the beast of the Southeast. As ambassador, um, you know, I took on the world when they tried to disrespect us and I think I showed what I'm capable of at the United Nations. So do I think I could be that leader? Yes, but we are still working through things and we'll figure it out. I've never lost a race. I said that then. I still say that now. I'm not going to lose now, but stay tuned. Huh. I will say, besides Trump, who would go, I have a big announcement about possibly doing something in regard to 2024, but I'm not saying anything official. Besides that, uh, that was as clear as you can get. She asked those two questions and answered them yes. That's the same as going, listen, when I'm thinking about if I should run in 2024, I think, who should run in 2024? And my answer, Brett, is is me. But we're still sorting things out. Okay, just say yes, I don't know. Or go and announce so that we don't have to go through that. No, I get it. There's official filing related things, legal matters. And so you do have to wait until your official announcement. But who is Nikki Haley? Besides the titles that I listed, who is she? What does she stand for? I think this CNN segment nicely sums up uh, my thoughts about her. So I think who is Nikki Haley is going to be a question that if she runs is going to get asked a lot. Well, that's what I, I, I ask. I don't put that much stock on anything she says because she, she's always contradicting herself just a little bit afterwards, right? Whenever I hear Nikki Haley, it's, I, I, the, the song was on my head, you know, will the real Nikki Haley please stand up? Because she will say whatever I mean, she thinks. What does she thinks. stand for? That's what I'm saying. Like, and is, I'm is she telling like you, a... she stands for whatever is convenient at the moment, and whatever. And when she gets blowback, then she pulls back. We saw that happen on January 6th during the January 6th. You know what happened after January 6th, and her she was she was critical. Then she went and apologized. Then she was this, and that. So she's she's been all over the place on so many issues. And in the meantime, though, she's on corporate boards. And I can tell you that Nikki Haley today is a, a lot better off financially than she was before being in the administration. So I agree. Uh, Nikki Haley does strike me as someone who says what she has to, does what she has to, to reach her next career goal. And that's not what you want in a leader. Um, you want someone who's fighting for a genuine set of beliefs because that will give them the motivation to actually fight with everything they have politically. Um, but unfortunately, what I just said applies to a whole lot of our elected officials. Doesn't mean it's not still a good standard to have. Um, I don't see her as having really any chance of winning in the Republican primary, but this might be an attempt to get in the mix, get more prominent, and then become a conversation item as far as uh, a vice presidential running mate pick that conversation, right? So if DeSantis were to win, I don't see Trump picking her, but if DeSantis were to win, I could see him picking her if she were also a candidate um, and then had dropped out and endorsed him. That would honestly be a likely situation where that does get her to a next career step successfully. So we'll see how it plays out. Now it seems we have uh, Bolton, Pompeo, and Nikki Haley and Trump in the mix and we'll see what DeSantis does. Let me know what you think. We have a subreddit, Luke, the Luke Beasley Show, I should say, the Luke Beasley Show on Reddit.